So you've just been diagnosed with type 2 diabetes or you've had type 2 diabetes for a while now, how many grams of carbohydrates should you be eating in a day? Hi everyone, my name is James Marin. I'm a holistic registered dietitian, environmental nutritionist, author, speaker, and diabetes expert. Welcome to another video. Thanks for clicking again, or welcome if you're new. I am a registered dietitian with my own private practice. I like to give these tips and educate, you know, the YouTube audience or anyone in the world about diabetes. And today we're going to be talking about type 2 diabetes and carbohydrates in a single day. So basically, how many grams of carbs should a type 2 diabetic have in a day? And what I'm going to give, this general information I'm going to give is good if you've just been diagnosed with type 2 diabetes or even if you've had diabetes for a long time, type 2 diabetes for a long time. So there's one thing you have to understand that your diet is going to consist of a lot of carbohydrates. And when I mean a lot, I just mean a majority of what you eat is going to come from carbohydrates, okay? Carbohydrates are going to consist of fruits, vegetables, you know, when you think of root vegetables, you think of whole grains, and even some nuts and seeds have carbohydrates, legumes, which is so healthy for type 2 diabetics. Legumes consist of peas, beans, and lentils, and all those varieties. So again, there's so many varieties of carbohydrates. You're going to eat a lot of those varieties because what I want you to know is carbohydrates did not cause you to get diabetes, okay? We run off carbohydrates. That's our main source of fuel. Now, you don't always think of, let's say you have a car and you have your fuel injectors which cause your engine to, to combust and go and, and operate properly, right? It's not so much the fuel you're putting in that's causing those fuel injectors to malfunction. It's something to do with the machinery or the wiring or the signaling, right? Because it's not just the fuel. If you're putting in good, clean fuel, it's not the fuel, okay? So it's the same thing with diabetics. It's not the fuel. It's your cells that aren't communicating. Your cells aren't communicating with insulin and insulin isn't working properly. So now your fuel just stays in your blood. Basically, your fuel is glucose. It's a sugar. But you don't want it to stay in your blood long. And that's exactly what's happening with type 2 diabetes, okay? And don't get me wrong, when I say you're going to eat a lot of carbohydrates, I'm not talking about cookies and cakes and white bread and white rice, okay? To understand better what to eat, what not to eat, there's a link in the description where you can get resources on that and it's going to go into a lot more detail and a lot more depth. But overall, what I'm here to tell you is the carbohydrates you're going to eat, like I mentioned before, are going to be these whole food complex carbohydrates. Those are carbohydrates you can eat. And if you're eating those complex whole food carbohydrates, you really don't have to carb count. Okay, you really don't have to worry about how many grams of carbohydrates you're getting because in these whole food carbohydrates, you're not just getting carbohydrates. So this speaks to a whole nother education session on kind of how we've, uh, you know, compartmentalize our macros, right? Where we've done, these are carbs, these are fats, these are proteins, this is sugar. No, in whole foods, you're getting all those things in one food, right? So for example, in a black bean, let's say, in a black bean, you're getting protein, you're getting carbs, you're getting fiber, you're getting some sugar, you're getting phytonutrients and vitamins and minerals. You're getting all these things in a whole food and that's what makes it special. That's what makes it complex, okay? If you compare that to white rice, you're mainly getting carbs and, you know, that's about it. If you compare that to white bread, you're mainly getting refined carbohydrates, which is gonna mess with your blood sugar, which is not good for your body, okay? It's gonna still disrupt that cell signaling and your insulin's not gonna work, okay? So I hope that makes sense. In summary, my, my advice to you is focus on the complex whole food carbohydrates and don't focus on always counting your carbohydrates, okay? Because again, 20 grams of brownie Right, so 20 carbohydrates from a brownie is not the same as 20 carbohydrates from a black bean, okay? So don't treat it the same. We can't lump these carbohydrates in the same category, right? Beans and whole grains and even purple and red potato and all these healthy whole food carbohydrates are not the same as cookies, cakes, crackers, white bread, 
you know, white rice. They're not the same grams, so you cannot treat them the same, okay? If you do more of the complex, you don't really have to worry about counting them or worrying that they're gonna, you know, hurt your body or increase your blood sugar, okay? So I hope that makes sense. To learn more, click the link below in the description, understand what foods to eat, what foods to avoid specifically, and better utilize your time in the grocery store when you're planning meals and when you're cooking. All right, guys, share this with friends and family. Share this with anyone who needs to understand carbohydrates a little bit better. And as always, have a wonderful day.